Uh, first of all, just myself, my name is Tari Hisham, my project, um, uh, okay, the, the, my project that I'm going to build a feasibility study around is Bridge Blender 3D Library, which is basically a library that I wanted to do because I was always interested in the concepts of 3D printing, but sadly it's an industry that is lacking in Egypt and in pretty much the Middle East in terms of independent uh, businesses and non-governmental institutions. Okay. First, I, uh, I would like to introduce the subject of 3D printing as surprisingly one of the most flexible industries around, even in the world. It's used for many things. It's used for medical equipment, used for parts, spare, uh, spare, pro spare parts, engineering, medical use, medical use, biotech, almost uh, every utility you can ever think about. It's basically, you create a model, you print it. That's it, which model is practically anything in this world. But what, what Bridge Blender is, is going to be a library that is located near uh, near University of Cairo that will hopefully be aimed towards students that are from engineering and dentistry to help them build, uh, to help uh, inspire their creativity and uh, be an educational platform for them to be introduced into this new industry, which I think they really like. Uh, is it? Okay. Uh, first, the origin of the name Bridge Blender. Um, uh, Bridge Blender. It's weird. Bridge Blender. It's a. Uh, there's a. Uh, there was always a model that is actually download. Anyone can download it right now. It's called Blender. It's a three. It's a three D modeling program. That basically you can model in it. You can sculpt. You can create anything. And it has full support of any three D blending mo uh, printer, almost in the world. But many people don't know how to use it because they see the interface, they see 500 different uh, outputs, they're like, I don't know how, what this is, I'm not gonna model, I'm gonna uh, grab anything and just make uh, my model of my building, my model of my, uh, uh, my model of an organic system in a, uh, in a medical usage, just from anything, or just gonna hire someone to do it. It's inefficient, it's not like that. It's, uh, you should be actually able to not have enough knowledge on modeling, to help you represent yourself, to help you uh, put your ideas into physical forms. And uh, it will gonna help your creativity, it's gonna help the overall ind industrialization industry, and uh, it's gonna open new opportunities for you. You're gonna present better. Okay, first, uh, that's the market and the analysis. Uh, let's, let's keep going, five minutes, come on. Yeah. Uh, the aim, uh, okay, as I said before, the target implementation is going to be youth, uh, from students of universities. Later on, we hope to expand into schools, the kindergarten, uh, to make it as accessible as possible. But it also, it was also going to help industrialization of the right? Into the, into <laughs> industrialists, working engineers who actually don't know much about modeling, who just know the architectural side of it, who don't know much about it, we can actually help them to better represent their job on a professional level, even if they are high workers in the industry. Yeah. Okay, the when and who and uh, where, and most importantly, why? Why would you buy this? What is 3D printing? Why am I ever gonna use it? First, it's, uh, if you actually do research on it, it's kind of like magic. You can do anything you want. Unironic, you, uh, a table broke. What are you gonna do? I can't find the handle. I model the handle. I print it. I install it. Problem solved. Anything can be done. And, uh, and when you will buy it, in terms of at least the structure of this uh, project, is uh, during the uh, is during the semester. Uh, the library will be open to the editions of the semester and in the educational year. So every, each and every semester, the, uh, the library will be open near um, uh, Moon Valley in New, in New City, Cairo, where it connects with three main universities: the, the German universities, American universities, BUE, and Future. And uh, we're going to write I said students together. Why? Because well, it's going to help everyone actually. <laughs> Next. Okay. Uh, here it is in Cairo. In New. What? What the? Uh, there was supposed to be pens. That the uh, Moon. Okay. Moon Valley is here. I think. I wrote Yeah. Yeah. Moon Valley. I don't know. Like that. More frequent for pens. It was. Oh. Yeah. Moon Valley. Uh, if he. There is a, an, in, an, an in sale res, uh, restaurant that's full retail and NCC legal firms, anything for like 500,000 uh, pounds, which is amazing. I can't believe I actually found something so cheap in like New York City. But next, please. Okay. The strategy and products. 
strategy and products. First policy that we're going to do is basically be reliant on quality. Uh, we're gonna help. We're gonna help people not be intimidated by the industry. If you ever fail, if there's any technical difficulties that have anything to do with the 3D printer itself, you can reprint it. It's okay. The library itself is going to take full responsibility of it. It's okay. The market gap is actually a pretty new industry. No one has ever tried it before. It, so it uh, opened new heights for us, and it's not very competitive. So we can do it. Okay, let's speed it up. Uh, product, uh, okay, the product depth and uh, analysis. You can have three levels of product depth. There's a level where you can just come to the library, use the PCs, like it's a cyber, like it's an internet cafe, anything you ever want. Level two, you can have access to the pre built assets that are actually we're going to make into the 3D library. We can print like a tree, a uh, pen, anything you want, but they're kind of basic. Level three, you can access to modeling, courses, tutorials, anything you ever want. So you can print whatever you want, you have ultimate access. Okay. <laughs> أنا <laughs> 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 Uh, in my point of view, the strengths of being penetrating a new market, there's not much competitors, the model itself that's created on levels is very flexible, it's easily, you know, the software is free, it's actually free, you can download it, anyone can download it, just write Blender, 3D modeling, and you can download it. The opportunities are that you can expand easily if the industry is successful through its means of education and the timeline, and uh, it's, in, uh, it's an expanding platform for education, and it can quickly gather technological models and uh, the industry of 3D models itself are pretty pretty vast and uh, there's new models everywhere. So if we ever were successful, we can buy the newer thing, the one that can print even uh, more forms of plastics and materials. The weakness, uh, sadly, that uh, the, the industry can be a little bit complicated. Some of the software is complicated and it's hard to use and it's not very good for beginners. And it can be very expensive. You're buying a, a 3D printer that is at least 15,000 uh, Egyptian pounds, and uh, it can be very daunting if you don't or if you don't have a good marketing strategy. Uh, threats, possibility that no one is interested. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility. We try to uh, you can try to market to, towards them, but maybe they just don't pick it up. They find it unnecessary or just don't see the potential. Uh, the limitations can be undefined, like if I tell you, you can do whatever you want, some people will be like, no, tell me, what do you want me, what, what can I do, and what can't I do? What do you mean I can, what, uh, what can't I do? You know? it's, it's undefined, so it's obscure a little bit. L loss of interest, I already kind of said that. Uh, oh yeah, here's the business uh, canvas model. Uh, do you want me, Dr. Do you want me to actually try to explain it? <laughs> okay, next. Uh, Imagine a portal model. It's a, uh, sorry. I just want. Uh, it's uh, basically it's not risky. Third not create, which I, I don't know why it turned out like that. But I think it's a little bit riskier than this. But it, it was deemed not risky by uh, the portal model. By okay. Technical feasibility and financial structure. Uh, is this logically possible? Okay. First, uh, the surveys. I actually sent out uh, like 118 surveys into basically my brother helping because he knows people in New City Cairo. And uh, through it we actually determined our pricing system. We introduced the levels, how much are you willing to pay for the lowest level, how much are you willing to pay for the highest level, in order to determine what, yeah, what people will be willing to pay. And through that we actually settled on, the level, or at least I settled on the leveling system of level one being access to PCs and not much modeling, level two being access to modeling, level three being practically a full membership where you can access the modeling software, hardware, and uh, unlimited access. You can create your own models, access to courses, anything you ever want for like 100 Egyptian pounds. Okay. Uh, in terms of the uh, uh, performer income statement and, uh, uh, and the performer balance statement, the, uh, after we do the calculations and determine the demand forecasting, uh, do, uh, then on our overhead costs, we actually determined from putting everything together that we are going to have over 71,000 uh, uh, 71, uh, uh, of uh, cash. Um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, I mean, 
كاش ريد اوف كاش فلو يعني اكسس يعني اكسس اوف كاش اكسس اوف كاش يس اي فور جات ذا وورد سوري اكسس اوف كاش نيكست اوكي بروبابيلتي مارجنز دي اكشلي ذيز ار بروبابيلتي مارجنز ذات ار فيري هارد تو سي ام سوري بات ذيز ار وي وي اكشلي وير ابل تو ديتيرمين ذا demand uh, forecasting easily because the population of uh, New City Cairo is uh, uh, like 300,000 people, I think. And, uh, and those, after running a research where we determined and asked at all the universities of the amount of the uh, engineering and uh, medical students that they provide, we actually were able to segment it even more to like 31,000 and then added on the growth rate, which is 2%. And we were able to get that and then we segmented it on our estimated value of the worst to average best scenario, 40 to 70 to 100 percent. Okay, next. This is the best of the appendix. Uh, I, it's in the project. Do you want me to read it, doctor? Okay. Go on, this is the best of the appendix. Uh, the best of the appendix. Can you put four light on the The former probability ratio. Oh, uh, can you go back like two slides? Uh, I, uh, again, our probability ratio. Uh, here it is. There you are. Ratios. Uh, do you want me to read them for you? Because, uh, because I don't want to read it. I need you to explain what the meaning of these ratios and what are oh. the interpretation okay. and what can you go from all the things. Okay. Why are you doing this and okay. do this for that and who do did that for those? Okay, look. Uh, basically, the gross margin of profit, which is basically uh, the, the margin of which is the entire time you spent. You spent, you can actually have the opportunity to gain profit from it. And it's, it's a positive, and it is a positive scenario. And this, I'll first have to inform that this is all in the best scenario because the three scenarios are, uh, of uh, 40 to 70 to 100 percent, and until people get to, uh, until the, our notoriety rises a little bit, will be uh, on semester years. So the timeline will not actually be that long. So we can reach that point hopefully higher. And in that point. Uh, our profit of margin, which is basically for every marginal product, how much profit we're going to make is 0.34%, which is uh, it's part it's pretty good, uh, and hopefully it will, uh, with uh, with hopeful expansion and uh, buying new models, we're only going to have two, three printers and like six PCs. And, uh, and, uh, what is the time frame for your expansion in the future? Expansion, hopefully two and a half years. Okay. Hopefully two and a half slide. years. Yeah, okay, next. Oh, okay, next, next, so? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It took me a lot to find this picture. <laughs> uh, a new, uh, basically to conclude everything and to say uh, why, th why I think this project is actually an important project is because uh, there are very few realms of um, uh, physical creativity these days. You know, most of the things are actually digitalized. And we are planning on to use the digital world in terms of our marketing strategy. But uh, the, la the physical material of the world, like how, how many, uh, the, the fact that most interviewers are being accepted when they are face to face connection, physical material, material the fact that materialism is part of us as humans. We, we connect more when something's in front of us. And the fact that access to people, uh, normal students, and hopefully even, uh, even younger age groups, are going to be able to access to create physical materials that represent their ideas in front of their colleagues, their workers, their uh, their employers and employees. It's going to help them not only in their career but in their life in general. Yeah, it's going to help. And it's going to help their life be more convenient, and it's going to help them hopefully, yeah, very hopefully be more. And it's going to help them hopefully uh, make them much more creative. Uh, thank you all. Thank you so uh, much.